What happened to me? Say, how did you... Fisher is dead, and the lens is gone. It was a scorpion. That's the second lens he's stolen. What are we gonna do to stop him? Nothing right now. You must tell Malcolm and the others to take some drastic action to protect the rest of the lenses. Come on. Okay. And when Captain Marvel got there, Fisher was dead. And we certainly need Captain Marvel's help more than ever now. Oddly enough, he always seems to know when and where the scorpion will strike next. That's how he saved my lens. Where did he get his information? How did you know that Fisher was in danger? Why, well, Billy told me. Batson, how did he know? Why, when he heard about the message that the scorpion broadcast to your meeting, he... How did he learn that? Well, well, I guess Betty must have told him. Our meetings must be held in strict confidence. Our lives depend upon it. And Miss Wallace should be made to understand this. You're right, Tashitali. I shall warn Betty not to repeat a thing she hears at these meetings. We'd have had Bentley's lens, too, if it hadn't been for Captain Marvel. I believe I found a way to take care of him. At the meeting today, I learned that Betty Wallace has been talking too much. It was her information that brought Captain Marvel to Fisher's. We can use her to lure him into a trap. What kind of a trap would ever hold him? I have in mind a destructive force that no living being could withstand. Phone Miss Wallace and tell her that... Certainly. I'll bring them right down. The broadcasting studio wants Billy's notes for his next program. I thought Billy was going to pick them up himself. He must have changed his plans. You want me to go with you? No, Mr. Malcolm wants you to stay here. Now I gotta play nursemaid to a telephone all afternoon. Scorpion lady. Get in. Oh! <laughs> Hi, Whitey. Where's Betty? Well, the studio phone and asked her to bring your notes. Didn't you know about it? No, I just came over to get them myself. Well, see, you don't suppose that was a phony message, do you? I don't know, but I'm gonna follow her. You stay here, I'll call you later. find those keys. You come along too and help. Where are 
Where is Miss Wallace? I... I don't know. I said, where is Miss Wallace? She... she ran into the woods that way. along the edge of the lake. I'll try down here. be safe enough now. I'm sure I will, thanks to you. But how did you happen to get here at such an opportune time? Uh, Billy Batson thought you might have been led into a trap. Billy Batson? Does he know how to get in touch with you? Yes. I keep my radio receiver tuned to a 16 wavelength. A broadcast on that wave will always reach me. Thanks. I feel much safer now. Shazam! Move over, sister. I'll do the driving now. Batson also knows the wavelength that will contact Captain Marvel. Mm. Very interesting. Now you'll have to get Batson and take him along with the girl to the shack on the bombing range. Right. Do we come back here and call Captain Marvel? No, he might be suspicious unless the girl calls. Install a broadcasting set in the shack. She can operate it. But suppose she doesn't call him. I think she will. Bring her in. No need to be frightened, Miss Wallace, yet. That is, if I have your cooperation, I... You'll never have my help. Perhaps you'd better listen first. You can save yourself and your friend Batson a lot of trouble. Are you hit? It's nothing. 
With this action, you forfeit your life. Go ahead with our plans. Pick Batson up at his office and get both of them out of the shack at once. Right. Move on. Here he comes. Barnett, Barnett, this is the Scorpion. The plane has taken off and will drop the demolition bombs on the shack in a few minutes. Leave the shack immediately. Come on, that plane will be over in no time. He can get us out of here. Calling Captain Marvel. Calling Captain Marvel. It's Betty Wallace speaking. Billy and I are tied up in a shack on the bombing range. Please help us. 